All right. Welcome back, everyone. We had a little bit of a delay there, but we are back. Uh, we've got our second match of the day. It's going to be Ducks Eating Greens versus spon the team that is sponsored by Ban Hayes. Ducks Eating Greens, of course, got the win earlier against the blue team. Van Hayes still, this is their first match of the tournament, so excited to see what we're going to see out of them. Right, so Monocro, of course, Shikami still with me. Hello. How are you guys doing? I'm all right. I am a little stressed. Um, unfortunately, we had a little bit of a power outage, so I will be handling a lot of the camera work, so I will not be saying as many words uh, during this specific match. But it looks like it's up and running and going decently. We've got all 12 of our players here. I, I think we're ready to go. All right, cool. Looks like our first map of this is going to Ilios. So the well will get to feed today. I know everyone wants to see some of that. It'll be delicious and exciting. So here we go. Going into the game. Ducks eating greens taking now on Van Pace. Of course, um, during the break scare, 966 did make it back, so we'll be replacing Jock on Ducks Eating Greens back to their original lineup. Yeah. Should presumably put Poplio on off tank and Scare on support, but two questions and Scare 96 are hovering the other way around. Might just be memeing, but we'll see how it goes. It's like this could be interesting. Two questions on that Reinhardt all of the last game. Yeah. Now showing the Moira instead. Hyphenated, of course, on the Farah. Already showing that tracer. Ducks eating greens. On the other side, we've got the Orisa. We've got the Roadhog. We've got the Farah. Everyone you want to see other than the Lucio to yeah. put people in the hole. Yeah, we're seeing the debut of sponsored by Van Hayes here, who is a team that played very well as a team of running up to the tournament. They have Five, Luck as... Four, we've three, I mean, we've seen a lot of really two, good Faras, but one, Luck is up there, and he also has a May and even a Symmetra that he can break out. And the Goku... Uh, Hack and Slash is actually on DPS, not tank. But, um... But the tanks are also very solid on sponsored by Van Hayes. Have a little bit of a uh, camera issue, sorry guys. All right, so once again, we're going to see the Fara v Fara battle We've seen so many times already. My ceiling is taken low by Hack and Slash. Good news. So, Luck Demon got that position and takes out Fara. It takes out Barty. That damage just makes it a one shot. Puts Scare out of position. And looks like. Both mercies are gonna go down here. So, no reses, no healing. Papio gets the hook on the luck team and not able to finish him. Get healed up by the more, but the kill's starting to come in for duck eating greens. We've seen this just about every round for them. They give up the first capture, but they stay alive and they come back and take the point. Yeah, they really know how to play this thing they help so far. Some really interesting off-rolling happening on both sides. Scare and Two Questions are indeed basically trading each other's main heroes. And meanwhile, on Sponsored by Van Hayes, Terry Cola support main is on the off tank. Wojo Nader, the DPS main, is on Moira. And Hack and Slash, the main tank, oh, oh, is on ABS. Barrage out of Luck Demon. Sorry about the camera, the friends. Go down, though. So, Rez is going to come on to Luck Demon, and now big numbers advantage. Two questions goes down, and it looks like Van Hayes is going to be able to take this point as soon as they can clear Barty out of there. Finally will go down, but Tank's coming back for Ducks Eating Green. He's going to take a lot more effort here. Get them up. Oh! Excellent. Lucky even put Scare in the hole. There it is. Now, kill's still coming through, but Poplio just trying to get as much time on that point. 
will finally flip, but 53% was earned for Duckseed and Greens. Duckseed and Greens have just uh, excelled at these sustained fights so far. Even that where they lost the fight, they had about 15% that they didn't have to get. Mercy Moira is uh, a lot of healing if you actually get it on your team. Yeah. Black Demon shine down from above. Oh, hold on, we gotta pause here. It says the stream is frozen. Uh, let me uh, investigate this. Mm -hmm. Set it. Oh jeez! Audio but no camera, one moment. Huh? McFreeze, the stream is frozen right now. Yeah, we're figuring that out right now. Okay. okay. Technical difficulties, folks. Thank you for sticking with it. Do we have audio on the stream right now? Uh, it says the audio is there, but the video is not. Mm. Okay. But the Ducks banner is animated. Uh, it looks, I mean, besides the pause. I think it, I figured it out. Yeah, well, we have the delay I'll on, so it's going to take a minute to verify that it's working. Keep it just a moment and you restart over what? The window is not a When you're using stream uh, scenes and assets from another person's setup, it can be difficult at times. Okay, I'm seeing now the pause screen on the stream here. So it did just updated. Do you think it's working? Throw me a reinvite to the game. <laughs> oh, what a wild ride this is. All right. Oh my god. NA production, boys. We're now back in. Arriving at Ilios. Okay, so it's working, right? You're back in the lobby. I think uh, you should be good to resume, right? Yep, uh, so it should be ready to go. Sorry about that, friends. All right, let me just make sure the teams are ready. And then we will unpause here. All right, so we are going to unpause. 53% for ducks eating greens. 38 for Ban Hase. Ban Hase is still in control of the point here. Right, so the Valkyrie is going to come out from Warden. Duck Seed and Greens just 
waiting for an opportunity to move in. As Valkyrie up, they seems like they want to wait for it to go down. I will not waste this opportunity. Scare. I need now healing. taking that position. Justice to the left side. Oh, Rocket Barrage from Lucky gets hooked though. Poplio takes him out. And the coalescence out of Wojo. Cherry Cola pops the whole hog. Gonna push Scare away. And Poplio going down, but still. Oh, hyphenated with the flanking barrage. Duxedian Green still in despite. They've got four members alive. Three, four. Wojo does fall. Scare is going hog wild. Gonna go down and just Lux Demon's Farah available on the point. Gets hit with a direct from Hyphenated, but now Hack and Slash trying to get it up to 99%. Gonna be 97 before it's finally warmed up. Finally warmed up. Van Hayes only needs one more fight win here. Take this first round of Ilios. No one can hide from my sight. Party does pop the Infrasight. They have that vision. Looking to take out Luck Demon from long range. Oh, that's just gonna come out. Earth Shatter. Big Earth Shatter out of Scare. Knocks everyone down. They're getting the kills. Scare will go down. Wojo popping the Coalescence. Still fairly even. Cherry Cola goes down though. Luck Demon gets the low. kill on the Bardi. But Farah and Mercy for one side. Oh Warden not there for Luck Demon. Now both teams trying to regroup here. Scare not quite going to go into the pit. Primate Nail still up. Cherry Cola trying to push him off with the whole hog. Hopefully it's back on the Diva. Now... I need Basically you. six back for both teams. Luck Demon got too close to the ground. Oh, Warden taken out as well. Poplio getting both kills. Pulse Bomb comes out. Hack and Slash not going to find anything. Cherry Cola goes in the pit. Oh, God, camera and bomb. Ducks Eating Greens getting the kills. News, everyone. Heroes never die. They Good will news, take everyone. the first round. I already really miss close works. once again. One to zero. Monica, what did you think of that? Now, let's see how these teams play Ruins, because this is... <laughs> yeah, let's see how these teams play Ruins, because this is the one map on Ilios where Farah isn't stellar. It's not even a bad Farah map, but it's just a phenomenal Widowmaker map. It does have a lot of really long sight lines here for Widowmaker. One, round two, Looks like capture the objective. Van Hayes gonna elect to run the McCree the and the Soldier and put Luck Demon on the Brigitte. That's interesting. Have two, two hit scans. No Widow though. They're gonna have a little bit of a range disadvantage here. Sparty going for the big shot. Gets hit with a Helix rocket, but he's gonna drop down and get healed up. Hyphenated with your Cole gonna go down in the Soldier, but will be res. Sparty's still looking for those shots. Scare's gonna go down though. Five on six here, in favor of Van Hayes, and now another kill. Poplio on the point by himself, gonna get taken out. And Ducks Eden Greens get pushed back once again. Let's see how this goes, this is stuck strategy. This time though, it looks like two questions, it's gonna get taken out, and they are gonna get pushed back. Big shatter out of Primate Mail. Scare is going to get bubbled, so he's going to stay alive. Luck Demon really deep in there in the Brigitte. Going to pop the rally. Wojo Barty. gets taken out from Barty. Very careful. Now, Ducks Eating Green is going to look to push this advantage. Earth Shatter from Scare finds nothing. Barty gets the kill on the Luck Demon. Now, finally, no Ducks Eating Green is going to be able to move on to the point. No one left alive. And there it is. The point is going to be flipped 44% for Ban Hayes.
Man Haste is now running that Mercy Brig comp that I was kind of talking about in the last game, how it has so little sustain. And I think that's the exact kind of it's comp that game. this what do you have to be Green's team can really prey on. No, we've got, this is interesting. We've got Hack and Slash on the Reinhardt, Wojo on the Winston, Diva as well. Very tanky comp, but two questions just burning through everyone with Holes that less than four kills. That's gonna be the team wipe right there. Wojo, the only one to get out alive. But he's taking fire from Barty. Just barely makes it with his life. You gotta say, the... Yep. The triple tank strategy, very unusual here from Van Hayes. I, I don't want to say they're running mystery heroes, because that would be mean, but they're, they're trying a lot of stuff in this first Jerry round. Jerry going to pop the tank. Here, with the Earth Shatter, going to be blocked. Going to get taken out with the charge, so they're making it work here. Oh, the flanking barrage from Hyphenated. Going to get one, but will get taken out as well. The rally coming from Lucky and just to make sure no one else dies. Hopefully he's gonna be caught out by himself. He's gonna go down, but Barty takes out Cherry Cola, but it looks like Duck Leaking Green. Oh a big shatter from Hack and Slash gonna clean everyone up. There you go, there's the team wipe from Ban and Ace. Look at that. The power of these really unusual team comps is that the team that's playing against it has no experience like playing against it but if if you've ever lost a comp game against a team with five dps it's because you're just not prepared for that kind of game exactly right all these tanks well, just the widowmaker you know not oh, primal. very good at dealing with those tanks we'll see if party's gonna have to make a switch here already 83 percent for ban haste though Got the Valkyrie up as well. Self destruct comes out from Primate Mail. Gets two! This is huge. I don't know if Dusty are even going to be able to touch the point. Hopleo's going to go down. Hyphenated the only one left. With the Mercy, but Celia's going to get taken out. Van Haste coming back. Getting the round and tying this up. Yeah, I'm not sure Zarya is really the pick into that kind of comp. If Van Haste runs it again, we'll have to see how they counter it. Let's see, this uh, really unusual team comp really throwing off Duck Seeding Dreams. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if they keep running it here. Duck Seeding Dreams going to be able to counter it. Looks like they're still showing that Brigitte Mercy, the triple tank, and the soldier. Five, four, three. Poplio two, showing the doom one, fist here. Round three. It's interesting. Capture you can certainly do a lot of damage you. to those tanks, but it's gonna be difficult to actually get the kills. Of course, hyphenated Farah always. Very good at laying in that damage from a really safe distance. No one can really challenge that far up from this range. Scare gets taken out from Hack and Slash. Nice charge there. And Haste looking to get the advantage. Lux Demon laying it in those flails with the Pagita. And once again, the first flip will go to Van Haste. Poplio. And to do everything he can, and that Doomfist, and he does get the Mercy. He haven't really been able to deal with Top Leo, but he does get oh. stunned by Luck Demon. He's not Finally able to get the ult before he's taken down. More like a slap demon, really. We'll see what they choose to do here. Pop Leo, yep, gonna switch to the Junkrat. I think this is a better choice. Burn through all those shields. Get those rip tires out. Those rip tires really good at killing those tanks instantly. I am empowered. They now have double explosives. If Duckseed and Greens take the point here, I can almost guarantee you he's gonna switch back onto that far up. Rally comes out from luck. Back drops the Earth Shatter, but he is taken out immediately, and there was follow up. Cherry Cola now pops the attack visor. <laughs> But the shield is going to be up from Scared, not going to find any kills. Now, 
ducks looking to counter engage, but Wojo with that primal rage and the self destruct out of primate male gets my Celia. He doesn't yeah. make any headway into all the space this double main tank plus Diva comp is making. So difficult they're to get through all of that health. Running quad tank, like a really, really weird quad tank with the Brigitte as well. Popolio does have that rip tire though. Yeah. Let's see if, what if he can take off the mercy? There's gonna be basically no healing left. Yeah. To keep these tanks alive. Let's see if he's looking for it. Going to drop it right here. Looking for a target. Picks out Luck Demon, but Scare is gonna get taken out. Five on five. The res will come on to Luck Demon. Oh, he gets away with it. With the grab on the point. Hyphenated and hyphenated comes through. He wins up all the kills. Oh, bad rally on Luck Demon. And actually, Luck Demon gonna pop the rally there. No, it looks Unless like he wins, oh, but Barty does Which die. Gets full of it. Ducks still have three alive on the point. They should be able to get the flip here. Back and slash only has about five health. Gonna go down. Let's see if Van Hayes now making any switches. Poplio just used their rip tire. Already has another one. Luck does another seem to one. be keeping on this brig. Despite what I said about swapping to Farah, they believe in this comp. Basically, when you run these basically four tanks, you're just giving that rip tire every single fight. And oh, pop oh, on the mech, but doesn't get the kill on the primate male. It's a little late on the detonation. Loves the tire, and that may be it. Mac visor out of cherry coal just to clean up. And and haste now. Going to take the map. Victory. Surprising tank composition, and Ducks Eating Greens could not deal with it. Play really uh, innovative strategy there, yeah. we haven't seen before. Play of the game going to go to two questions. Surrender to my will. With the Kamehameha, of course. Triple. Everyone's favorite. Quintuple kill. They had to show that strategy off in the first map, though, due to Duck Eating Greens taking the first point of Ilios. So that's in the realm of public knowledge now. So we'll see how Duck Eating Greens counter it. All right. So Duck Eating Greens with the 2 0 in their first match, but going down in the first round here against Van Hayes. So. We'll see if they can make the comeback here. They are going to have the map pick. We'll see what they elect to go for here. We'll see, are they going to go for King's Row as every other team does? No, they do love, Poplio loves running that Zarya. Really don't know. They have not had the. Well, they did have the option to pick. So, the last match because it was given to them. But we'll see what they go with. Sorry. All right. Looks like the pick is going to be Gibraltar. So. They're going to, uh, I think the strategy here is they're going to try to lean on Barty's Widowmaker once again. And really make it difficult to run that Reinhardt for Ban Hayes. Yeah, I remember they got to pick a map in the last game, even though they won. And all their picks so far have been centered around enabling these DPS for Duck Eating Greens. Just waiting for... Van Hayes has the choice to attack first or second. I 
All right, they will attack, so we'll keep the Van Hayes on the red team. Ducks eating greens on the blue team. So, all right, so just a few seconds. We're going to get started here on Gibraltar. Should be a very different map here. Let's see who comes out on top. Both teams are ready, so we are going to get started right here. Let's go. Arriving at Watchpoint, Gibraltar. Point Gibraltar. Big uh, one of the most uh, dive focused maps in the game. So much high ground here. Often difficult for teams to run that Reinhardt composition. Teams can just stand on top of that shuttle and shoot down. Bozo see. does immediately hover that Winston. We'll have to see if he sticks on that Winston. We'll see in a few seconds what Ducks Eating Greens are going to elect to run on the defense. They are showing a triple DPS here. We'll see if they stick with this. See, with a double sniper here with the Farah. And one tank, Orisa. Mercy and Zen for the healers. What do you think of this, Monocro? Um feels like they're... I'm not sure. It like... I I would really love to know like what they've been talking about as a team. Because they're really playing all over the place. In like the two questions, playing the off support, Attack Scare is playing the main tank. Seconds. Hoplio's now playing DPS. He was on off tank for a lot of last round and now he's on DPS. So we'll have to see... I don't know. We'll have, just have to see how they well, settle in here. The idea here might be they think that Van Hayes is going to run those tanks again. Just put out so much damage okay. that they That's can't true. escape them. Yeah. It looks like Five. Okay. Van Hayes showing the Three. two dive tanks two. with the Brigida, Mercy Zen, and a soldier. Payloading. So, the payload. we'll see what they're able to do with this. Yeah. Very different comp from what they were running before. Yeah, they're running a much more traditional comp. Oh, Poplio much... immediately gets the pick on the back of the both supports back <laughs> down from the two snipers. No shields, of course, to hide behind. Wojo's still going to go in, but he's by himself. He has he's the pushboard on. I don't know, they probably want to get uh, back to spawn. Okay. Trying to nail gets D-Max as well. Luck Demon actually gets hyphenated to kill himself on the shield, but... Everyone's going to get taken out. Goku and Wojo just broke the first rule of dive, which is that the Winston and Diva did not go in at the same time. Oh, and Wojo is going to try to solo dive onto Barty, but he's just going to back believe. off. Not going to find any kills here. Going in deeper, but again, Ducks eating greens just back off. And he can't do anything about it. Wojo's still going in here without the team. He's taken out. Prime Mill not quite there yet. He's gonna get D-Max as well. And then the Dragon Strike comes through. Van Hayes gonna get forced all the way back. I don't know if they're even gonna be able to make it out here. He's gonna get picked off from long range if they're not careful. Boy, super the looking pretty uncoordinated here out of Van Hayes. And now, especially now that they know what Ducky and Green is running. I'm not sure I really understand the Farah pick, uh, the Brigitte pick at all. Really don't know what that brings to the table. Ojo still looking, going in on the Barty, pushing Barty back, but it's going to be able to hook back up onto the far side here. Kind of really wants to take Barty out. Talking to Primal Rage, but he's immediately focused down by all this damage. He's gotta go back and heal. Barty takes out Cherry Cola as well. Looks like this three DPS is really paying deep dividends for the ducks eating greens. They're just focusing these tanks down instantly. 
Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, the standard way to play dive with Winston Diva is that Winston and Diva pick a target, usually a squishy, like a Zenyatta or a Widowmaker or something on the enemy team, and then at the count of three or whatever, they just dive them and try to, like, blow them up. And then, boom, you have a 6v5 and you can, like, focus another target or whatever. But they're not really doing that. They just, they're just kind of both playing their own game. And Wojo now switches to Zarya, so they have no main tank now against triple DPS and two snipers. Oh, going for an aggressive self-destruct. Two questions. Not going to be able to escape. Cherry Cola gets the pick onto the Ariza as well. Valkyrie and the Barrage used, but the Transcendence will counter most of that damage. So the big self-destruct really opening it up for Van Haste, and they will be able to take point A, finally. Luck Demon actually going aggressively ahead, trying to get these spawn kills. And the spawn gonna really give them a lot of time on the payload. If they were on the payload? Okay, there they go. The door does have to open. That's true. I didn't even notice that. Ben Ace has pushed so far forward, they're going to be able to push half oh, this no. point without any... Duck Seed and Greens getting those forward spawns. Going to have to wait. Yeah, oh, Warden yeah. does get caught out, though, by they, Barty. They have to be so careful about their positioning against this double sniper. There's no barriers to protect them. The first deep barrier is not going to cut it. I can say that right now. Deep barrier is great. Okay. That's much. Okay, Cherry Cola does pop the attack visor and gets two! <laughs> Surprisingly, they were not behind the shield. Barty doing his best, gonna pop the attack visor. Does get Primate Mail. But, just by himself, not gonna be able to hold this payload. And that was a very quick capture of point B. And again, these split spawns coming out. Two Questions is in a weird spot here. Normally, the Zen's supposed to just jump off, but I'm not sure Two Questions knows what he's supposed to do here. Yeah, and he's going for it. He's just going to stagger himself. Ben he's decision trying to, to live swap. here, which is the worst thing you can do in this situation. You have to die as fast as possible. See, he's just making his respawn timer last longer. That's what's effectively happening there. Ben Halo Hayes is, continues uh, to move. Barty looking for the kill. Gets a headshot on Nuojo. That's not going to kill Zarya, though. And the armor now coming out from Luck Demon. Going to make it difficult for Barty. Is able to escape the self-destruct. Luck Demon gets the kill. Grab gets nothing on Nuojo. No. Poplio on the Zarya trying to put out that damage. But Hack and Slash on the flank here. Getting aggressive, but he will go down. Now two questions with the Transcendence. This could be enough to hold it. Hyphenated with the Barrage. Does get the kill on the Luck Demon, and this will be a hold just before the finish. Or Ducks Eating Greens. They had to use everything. I will not waste and this opportunity. Van Hayes will have both support ultimates coming in as well as very close to that rally. Yeah. I... Barty's still sticking on this Widowmaker. See what he's able to do with it. Yeah, there you go, it takes out Cherry Cola. So thing is all that healing you can have all the healing you want, but Widowmaker just doesn't care. Kills you in any way. Luck Demon's getting aggressive. Hoplio, though, on that Doom Fist. Not making it easy. Self Destruct comes out. Primate Mail gets two! Huge one! Everyone got caught out. Acilia trying to res. But will get taken out. It's just Scare alive. Gonna get stunned. Minute 29 left on the clock. Very. Respectable time there for Van Ace. I do not understand any part of that round. Van good, Hayes though. was running dive into the triple DPS on Duck Eating Greens, which is theoretically the counter because of the amount of squishies, and they just can't do anything. So then they're like, okay, let's remove all our barriers against a team with two snipers and a Farah, and they lose one team fight for the rest of the round. They were, <laughs> they were just able to uh, get those uh, get those kills with those self destructs. They really 
came up big there. Yeah. When you can't tank with a shield, you gotta tank with the self-destruct instead. You gotta yeah. tank with your heart. Make that face. Let's see what they're gonna run on the defense here. It's a Rhine Zarya, the Brigitte. Cherry Cola on that soldier. Mojo on to the Moira. So back to um, what they were running on Ilios at the beginning. Didn't really work out for them. So we'll see if they can make, execute better here on Gibraltar. Oh, McFreeze, I've uh, I've been muted in Discord for the entire last match, and I kept throwing comments in there. I, I thought you were just ignoring me. I'm an idiot. Oh no, I was ignoring you. God, that's also, funny. also on the most important note father. of team coordination, I just noticed um, news, Team Van Hayes' avatars. Half of them are season six avatars, and half of them are season nine avatars. That's very nice. nice. That's correct. Five, four, three. All right, two. so. One. Attackers. Duck seeding greens. Okay, here we go. Poplio on to the Brigitte. Two questions back on the Reinhardt. And Barty on the Zarya. So both teams actually running mirror compositions here other than the Soldier and the Farah. Let's see, that might be advantage if Cherry Gold. Oh, well, he's in trouble. Damage. Can he get to this Mega? Or no, he's full I thought he was stuck, but he was in full Good questions. Able to get aggressive here. And the Rhine gets the charge. But armor coming out. Jade keeping back and flesh alive. Everyone's full health here. And these ultimates have spent so much damage, so much healing. The ultimates are going to come out immediately here. It's a coalescence. Earth Shatter gets nothing from Hack and Flesh. from the questions. Hack and Flesh about to have his own, but his team is falling. The coalescence. Luck Demon pops the rally, but there's no one else alive here. That's Caleb's gonna be moving. We'll see if Van Hayes is going to keep on this team comp. Yeah. There we go. Luck Demon will switch to the Junkrat. So that would be why the L pump was used. Hack and Slash gets stunned. Oh, it loses to the hammer as well. Very cool, popping the attack visor does get hyphenated. Poplio does take her out. And Duck Seeding Green's looking good here. Just to clean up his last few kills. Slash does get the pin, but looks like it should just be a meta. Here. They actually have to win this pretty quickly. The funds are coming in. Two questions oh, gets the shatter. There you go. That that is a decisive fight ender right there. Luck Demon has to go back. Fighting right there, right before that tech point, is actually so dangerous for the Poor attacking Warden. team because because you have an it's an almost two CP level of bond advantage for the defending team. Now look at this five ultimates online for Duck Seeding Greens, but four for Van Hayes as well. Both teams about to throw them all out there. Hammer comes down from from questions, and this is chaotic here. Hyphenate does a good job of uh, peeling for his backline. Waiting for their opportunity. Coalescence out of Wojo. Hyphenate is still really not contested. Graviton comes out, gets everyone, Rocket Barrage, and then follows up with a rocket on the Wojo. And there's the fight once again, eventually, for Duck Seeding Greens. But again, both teams use pretty much all their ultimates. We'll see if Van Hayes is going to be able to contest. Here comes the Riptire out of Lucky Event. Prime Mail is going to be able to contest here. Riptire comes in. It's two questions, so this is defendable. Kills are coming in. It's like Van Hayes are going to be able to stabilize here. Just half a meter from the door. And now a big advantage for them as well. That spawn advantage. Mycelia might not be able to escape. Trying to run. Wojo chasing back all the way to the spawn. 
He took a bad route there. He tried to duck into the corner where the Boira displaced him, but I think if he missed the A to his team on the low ground, he would have gotten away there. This is what I wanted yeah. to see. Here we go. Apleo on the Genji. Apleo's Genji. Oh dear. And Lux switches to that Mei as well. Oh man. The comfort My pick's coming out. Done. We're gonna see how this plays out. It should be interesting. Speaking of comfort picks, two questions and Stare 996 have gone to their mains. They're not no longer trading heroes. Probably already 43% to that Dragon Blade. Looking to get the pick here, but gonna have to escape that Coalescence. Gojo putting out the damage. Hammer also came out from Pack and Slash in. Seeing green's gonna have to go back. Pompey was a little bit out of position to engage in the last fight. Pompey even does get the late kill onto Mycelia. So, a little more of a stagger there. Let's see. Any questions? Gotta wait for his team here. Pompey is still trying to get that dragon blade up. My work here is close enough to it. Charging. Oh, trying to get that coalescence charge. So, three ultimates gonna be up, actually four for Ducks eating green. Three. There's the Dragon Blade from Poplio. Two questions get taken out immediately. A blizzard and a freeze Barty. <laughs> and the kills coming out. Poplio went down as well from a nice helix out of Cherry Cola. Once again, Ducks, they've got 45 seconds or they're going to be on the losing end of this match. Two questions gets walled off here as well. Oh, that's not good. The coalescence, though, used by Wojo. Van Hate's really getting aggressive here. They don't even want to let him in the door. Yeah. I can slash gets a bit excited there and pops that batter, so they won't have that for the last fight. That is actually huge. They're only going to have this tech visor, and now Ducks yeah. eating greens with three ultimates of their own. Yeah. That Including that grab coming up. Let's see what Hyphenated can do with these rockets. Trying to put that damage out. They won't get the thumbs up. Just looking for the barrage, gets two, gets three. And this is big. Tech Visor comes out from Cherry Cola. Does get Mycelia. Gets three, actually. But, oh man. This is going to be another fight. They need to get Wojo off this payload and get it moving. Hack and Slash going to come into stall, and they have the May as well. They're going to have their tanks and the May. 3v3 right now. 3v3. Duxine Green's coming back from spawn. Barty close to that grab is going to be there in time. There it is. Gets luck to even get the primate mail. Damage in. Popdale back on the Hanzo. Takes out everyone. And this is actually going really well for Duxine Green's. But it is in overtime. They will get point B, but only about as much time left as Van Hayes ended the map with. The important thing to note, though, is that getting it to overtime doesn't really matter on your payload map. Like, it's not like 2CP in hybrid where you can not oh, be able to win and only Hack and Slash got stuck on the wall there and got hit with the Dragon Strike. Poplio is putting out all the damage on this Hanzo. Ducks eating greens need to finish this map or the Van Haste will get the win here for the series. And they're getting staggered here. Yeah. Van Hayes hasn't had all six yet on this point C. Oh, huge Tried shatter, to... though, from Hack and Slash. Gets two. That's so Take many ults, though. Probably they shot him mid charge, too. They, they only the needed Valkyrie. the shatter there. They did not need the grab or the Valkyrie. And now Ducky and Green's having Ooh, a huge shatter. Go down, but going into this last fight. They're trying to push them back to spawn here, though. Yeah. They can get these staggered. They, they have plenty of these go down. Dragon comes out? Dragon comes out. Hyphenated could I mean, the barrage. No, doesn't need it. Hyphenated now looking for Cherry Cola. Gonna chase her into that door. Blizzard actually comes out. Hopefully it was gonna get stuck right in the middle of it. Lent's only a few seconds left. Gordon gonna go down. Earth Shatter comes out. 
All the kills starting to come in for the ducks eating greens. Will it be enough though? There's still a long way to go. Primate male, very low. Gonna pop the barrier. It's able to take out Hyphenated, gets the support, gets the healing. Now Attack Visor coming out from Cherry Cole is stuck in the side door though. Luck Demon pops the ice wall, pops the ice block. Coalescence coming out from Scare. Not enough though to keep two questions alive. And now Poplio gets out. Grav comes in, gets Sparty. And Scare's the only one alive. Gonna go down. That's it. Van Hayes. That fight. That's a big win. That fight lasted too long. Yeah. Crazy. Play of the game. Really saw a lot of good improvisation out of Van Hayes. Really, uh, showed us a lot of things that we didn't expect here and just took Ducks Eating Greens off guard. What's the score, McFreeze? I don't remember. That will be a 2 0. Hard work is its own or will reward. It? it will. It will, right? Yeah. I believe. <laughs> yes, it was. That was a 2 0. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was too crazy for me to remember. So that is it. Ducks eating greens going to 1 and 1. Van Hayes gets the win in their first match. So. Sets up a very important match for them next week against My Chemical Romance. Will be very interesting. So we will have a short break here. We're going to get get the other teams into the lobby. But until then, we're going to have a short break here, and we'll talk to you in a few minutes. All right, I'm going to be stopping the stream in just a moment. Right. Okay, I'll start getting my voice. We're going to need to be transferring the stream. True. 